Welcome to Glenworth Valley Outdoor Adventures. You are all in for a fantastic day. And that is why this lady's here. Let me introduce you to Emily braven Hames. Emily is one of the world's leading transformation coaches. Emily's known worldwide as someone who can help people break through the emotional barriers that are holding them from achieving their physical, <laughs> their personal, and their professional goals. Transformational coach helping break down barriers. That's deep. It's a bit early for that, isn't it? <laughs> Emily, what are your plans for everyone today? Today we're going to go through a bit of an obstacle course, but I want you to think about it like a relationship, OK? Getting your feet wet, getting a bit muddy, a bit dirty, you know, seeing the nice green grass on the other side, we're all going to get through together. I'm a little bit nervous because obviously with my moon boot there's not much that I can do when we're talking physical activities, so hopefully I'm able to participate. Emily, I see some backpacks here. Uh, what are we going to do with those? In a moment, girls, we're going to ask you to think of a word, something that you feel has been holding you back in past relationships or you think you might be taking into a relationship that's a bit of a burden. Write it down, put it on that backpack, because by the end of the day, I want you guys to be able to release that burden. Ladies, I'm sure you're all thinking of a word, thinking of something that might be holding you back in your life, in finding a relationship and finding love. If you could grab a backpack and write that word down. You too, Nick. Off you go. What? That one's for you, Nick. The big one. Yeah. That's oh my god, oh these my are god. actually quite heavy. Oh, you're joking. Holy shit, it's yeah. literally as heavy as me. These backpacks are not light. They're extremely heavy. What happened? Um, she tackled me and I pulled, uh, tore a muscle in the back of my head. I felt that it would be too dangerous for me to partake in a physical obstacle course. I'm really disappointed. I was really hoping that today I would have the chance to connect with Nick because I didn't get that chance on my one-on-one -on -one date. That's a real kick in the guts. All right, so we need to ride on it. Just keep it relevant. Yeah. <clears throat> I found that hard to think of something, actually, or something that I wanted to share. This is really hard. It is hard. The hardest thing you can do is be honest with yourself. Don't be embarrassed. Just write whatever the first thing is that comes into your mind. What's your one? Um, fear of being hurt. <laughs> OK. And yours? Lack of trust in people. OK. It is pretty confronting to think about. Lack of trust in people and in my relationships is definitely one of my barriers, so I'm feeling pretty nervous about how I can face that today. You are going to have a fantastic day, and at the end of the day, ladies, Nick will choose one of you. So the two of you can sit down and have a long conversation about what you've discovered today and ultimately what kind of relationship both of you are hoping to build. I would totally love to have one and one time with Nick, our single date. It seems like a lifetime ago, to be honest. Haven't you guys got to put on something a little more appropriate? Good luck. Over to you. Have a great day. Thank All you. Right. All right. Thanks, Bend the knees, Nick. Bend the knees. <laughs> there you go. Oh. I'm quite scared, I think. It's a pretty heavy bag. Today's date, we're in Glenworth Valley, where the girls and I are partaking in an obstacle course with ridiculously heavy backpacks. Mine is absolutely loaded to the hilt. These backpacks represent our emotional baggage that we all carry into a relationship. <laughs> OK, ladies, we're going straight in. The first challenge is we have to cross this river as a team. I'm a bit freaked out, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think like, that I have any emotional baggage. In fact, I'm a little bit, a bit of a perfectionist. <laughs> Hopefully this bag and this challenge will help me. Hey guys, what you putting? So I made the first step, I made the second step, and I kind of figured out the way of how to move in that river. Good job, Dasha, nice work. It's a little bit fresh. We don't have the tallest girls here, so, so I thought I'd hang to the rear of the pack to so make sure all the flock makes it safely across the other side. Before we even got in the water, poor old Brit was stuck in the mud. My feet are stuck. Oh, shit. Jumping into that river is like jumping headfirst into a relationship. And let's be real, I had a lot of trouble just getting down the embankment, so. What are you guys doing? Having tea and cake over there? Are you going to get in the water? We've lost the shoe. The river crossing definitely scares me. I've got 15 kilos on my back. I'm pretty short, so I don't know how deep this water is. I love being tall. 
I'm watching a few girls go in front of me and Brooke. And all of a sudden, she's under the water. So I kind of went into panic mode. I'm thinking, I'm going to drown. <laughs> then realised I've just got to go down, crawl to the shallow, <laughs> and then jump up again. Oh my god! I'm absolutely f drowned. It was pretty scary. Did you see it? No. Oh, <laughs> okay. oh good work, guys. Good job. All right, jumping into a river. It's exactly like jumping headfirst into a relationship, guys. Dasha was first one in the water, no complaints, no squeals. Dasha's just some crazy Russian. <laughs> just, you know, she's impressive, this girl. So leading on to our next one. Team up into pairs. You're gonna pick a bamboo. You two? Yep. Sure. You two. Look, I think anyone's gonna be stoked if they get teamed up with Nick on a group day. Like, hello, I wish it was me. I definitely feel like the other girls could have been a bit jealous that Nick got to be my partner, but I was super stoked and, yeah, I was really happy to work with him as a team. I love working as a team with Nick. Thread your balls onto the bamboo. OK, slide it down. Now, work out a way to hold it so you're both going to equally share the weight. This weight is pretty intense. Plus 15 kilos on your back. Let's go, come on. Let's go, Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle guys. No running, <laughs> just marching. Shotgun Nick being on my team next. <laughs> Oh, good tactic up by Nick and Cass. If we were to pick anyone that was struggling the most, it'd probably be me and Shaz. Oh, the shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> I think we're only little. You know when you want to swap or if you're cool? Yeah, do you, want, do you want to do a swappy? Yeah, you do? Yeah. OK. I was watching Nick with a corner of my eye, being so helpful and so thoughtful of Cass. It's a bit heavy, that front one. The yeah, upbringing. Oh, that's exactly what a man should be like. You guys are working so well together now. You found the technique. We've had to adjust a couple of times. <laughs> My emotional baggage is that I have a lack of trust in people, and in this case, I knew that we had to work as a team. Shannon and I communicated really well, but I just really think that we struggled with the strength side of it. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. Good work. <laughs> Thanks, Bloody hell. Shaz is probably not the most athletic person, but we both pulled our weight. We still did it. No complaining. I hope Nick's impressed and he wants to take me on one-on-one -on -one time. Yeah, it was good. Did you work out a way to get through the exercise better? At the start, it was pretty heavy, but as soon as you figure it out with your partner... Exactly, and that's why communication is so important in a relationship. If you don't talk about it, it's not going to happen and you would have ended up squabbling in the middle of the field. OK, so... My emotional baggage was not to be controlled and with Nick as a team, you know, he wasn't controlling, we really communicated well and, yeah, it was really nice to work as a team and really communicate with Nick. Good stuff. Moving on to the next one. This last obstacle course, it involves water, it involves mud. Ooh, ah! Ooh, ah! It smells a bit off because there are cows in the area dropping various things in various locations. Oh, I was just like a little pig in mud. It was ridiculous. Oh, it reeks. But if I want the one-on-one -on -one time with Nick... Ah! <laughs> got to do what you got to do. Get a bit dirty. All the way through. Did you just fly through? <laughs> <laughs> you do. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a bit intense there. A couple of those, uh, whew, just, they were in the in the mud back there. But the idea, my intentions were pure. <laughs> my shoe. When you're pulling yourself through the mud with the weight on your back pushing down and you're trying to just pull, well, it's just mud moving. You're not actually going anywhere. It's pretty tough. You're going to go over this, but you're going to go one at a time over the centre. We had to go over this barrier that um, there's absolutely no way any of us would be able to get over it ourselves. Give me a hand. Ready? Help each other out. Go! I think I threw Sophie over first. <laughs> and then Nick came up and he sort of acted as a step. <laughs> 
and we were all stepping over, he was throwing us over. Come on, Cass! Okay. <laughs> we were just tumbling into the water. <laughs> over with the assistance of Nick and then it was Nick's turn and yeah he struggled. Oh. Nick you are right? <laughs> are you gonna do it on your own? He's not asking for help either. Go Nick, go Nick, come on. <laughs> He's not gonna ask for help, you can see it. <laughs> he needs help. Work out a way to get him over here with you. Come on, there. Rick comes back with Cass and helps me. Ready? Yeah, one, one, two. Wait, wait, on three, okay? OK? OK, ready? One, two. two. Get him up! <laughs> now that's what I call teamwork! <laughs> As I was just getting over, the first thing I felt, the weight of a two-metre drop with 30 kilos on your back landing in mud. The second thing when I came out of the water was <sighs> just ask for help, you bloody lunatic. Holy crap! Well done. <laughs> yeah, <two. laughs>